Hello everyone. This video is intended to be a brief look at some of the collaboration between Luigi Colani and Pelican back in the 1980s. And we're going to start with the Pelican number no. one, which was a ballpoint pen. And here are the C1 tubes that a lot of these pens came in. Um, they're very simple um, clamshell tubes. They either came in white or black. They have the uh, Pelican name in the upper um, kind of left-hand corner there. And they were um, probably the most common container. There was also a clear, uh, almost like a fish tank looking one. That was the other uh, more common one. So that's the C1 tube. And they housed uh, the Pelican uh, number one ballpoint. So here, as an example of the Luigi Colani number one. And it was very uh, ubiquitous. This ran for probably the, the entire 1980s. This was a combi model because it has uh, a bit of a silver embellishment here. So this was a little bit of the um, upscale, higher end model. Um, it's a ballpoint. Uh, the mechanism is here on the side. You get this uh, sliding mechanism that's got some nubs on it to give you a good grip. And then very sharp, satisfying click. Very easy to actuate mechanism. Uh, the grip here is this kind of um, rounded triangular shape for uh, improved ergonomics. It has a pretty good fit in the hand. And then if you can see here, it's a very stylized uh, clip. So you see it looks like a pelican right down to the eyes and the, and the beak. So that is uh, part of pelican styling, part of the, Mr. Kalani styling. And then at the bottom of the clip, you see the One Chick logo. And these pens, you know, were stamped and they've all got a little bit different variation. This one says Pelican number no. one, design El Kalani and Germany. Some will say design, uh, you know, El Kalani, uh, Pelican. Some will say West Germany. Um, so there's a bunch of variation to that. These common models, like I said, were the higher end. They came also, in addition to silver, uh, they came in black and uh, gold. So these were the kind of more upscale versions, but they're all essentially the same form factor. The other two were your more standard. These were the basic ones. Uh, these were the black and white version. Same thing, but without the kind of metal embellishment, um, but same form factor, same overall style. And you'll find a lot of these in variations with different um, you know, they'll have one color barrel and they'll have a different color sliding mechanism. And I've seen over, you know, two dozen variations now that I've done, I've uh, been doing research in this model. And again, these are also uh, all stamped. And this one's a little bit different than the other one. It says design El Kalani number no. one, uh, Pelican Germany. But you can still see that beak uh, clip and uh, kind of Pelican uh, eye is preserved there. So that is a look at the Pelican number no. one ballpoint, which was also known as the K80. This is the Pelican number no. one uh, mechanical pencil. These came out a little bit later in the run. I don't think these were as widely distributed. Pretty much the same form factor as the ballpoint. However, uh, black uh, knob here. And every time you slide it, you advance the lead. These are just standard 0.5 millimeter leads. Um, the pen breaks apart in the center here. Looks like kind of like a generic uh, Schmidt insert. Uh, for the pencil uh, mechanics of it. So nothing uh, overly fancy there. You know, and if we're speaking mechanics, I should bring back the number one ballpoint real quick because, you know, the interesting thing about this, I'm gonna unscrew this one here. You know, this is Pelican's uh, 337 refill. This is, the, you know, the common refill today. If you see here, you know, this pen's designed for that. The very early number ones uh, took uh, a much older refill from uh, Pelican, um, and it was not the 337, and it's not compatible with today's uh, versions. And you really can't get that old uh, refill very easily anymore, and there's not too much in the way of substitutes for it. So, um, that is something you may come across if you endeavor to collect these. Then the number two, the number two came in a, a tube like this rather than a clamshell. And it kind of had this actuating mechanism and it was very similar to kind of like the shipping tubes we use today. And the number two looks like this. It's a bit slimmer, much slimmer uh, in the body, but it balloons out here kind of towards the grip section. You, again, you get that ergonomic grip section. 
Still have the kind of beak clip here, though the clip is a lot longer than what we see and more tapered than what we see on the number one. So there's a number one on the right, a number two on the left, and you can kind of see the difference there. They're also, um, the number one, just a little bit longer than the number two when, when side by side. Uh, there is a sticker that gets affixed here, which was the Pelican logo. Those stickers tend to fall off with use. And this one says Pelican number two on it. So it's just kind of the same style and design, more of a slimline version. Took a different type of refill, a very, um, this one has a Schneider in it, um, but it took a, a thinner refill that I think you can still get from Pelican today. So these are still able to be serviced and used. Again, same, same click button mechanism. And that takes us to the P80. You know, Pelican made several prototypes of this. The first prototypes were very colorful. They had a um, grip that rotated 360 degrees to fit any hand, had a weird, not rounded cap lip like we're so used to, but a cap lip that was um, more angular to ensure that it always went on in the same orientation. Um, that didn't make it to market for whatever reason, at least best I can tell. And then this did get released. So it's the Pelican P80. Um, it's kind of like a Stormtrooper in that it's got black painted clip, black um, nib, in this case, a, a fine nib, very simply done with the Pelican logo and the, and the nib size engraved on the top. Now, there's a feed there. It says uh, Pelican and uh, West Germany on the cap lip. Nothing else really engraved on the cap. And, and this is a cartridge converter. So there's, uh, you know, you can put a, get a, any of uh, Pelican standard international cartridges should fit. And it's just a slip uh, fit mechanism here. So that is uh, Pelican's P80. And again, you have the Pelican beak clip styling. So I have to apologize for the kids yelling in the background if you hear those. Uh, couldn't take this video when they were napping, unfortunately. Well, Mr. Kalani was a fascinating character, and if you're at all interested by the contents of my article, I certainly encourage you to research uh, him independently yourself, um, because I think he was a visionary of sorts. Maybe uh, not to everybody's taste for sure, uh, but I think he had some interesting ideas and an interesting perspective on life, if nothing else. Um, so certainly worth uh, exploring the man. All right. Thank you very much.